back to my channel, Dream Budgets. Today we are gonna go ahead and do a quick cash stuffing. And then we're also gonna do an unstuffing so that way we can pay our credit cards. We have a credit card that's due on the first. We have one that's due on the fifth. And then we have our Discover credit card that's due, I believe, on the 19th of the month. So we're gonna go ahead and just focus on the first two credit cards that we have coming up. Let's go ahead and start cash stuffing these really quick. And so we're gonna go ahead and start with our rent. Our rent gets a total of $305. So 300, one, two, three, $305 is what we're gonna go ahead and add to our rent envelope here. So we should have a total of $955. Let's just count that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty-five. So $955 is what my portion is for rent. So we'll go ahead and unstuff the 955 shortly. For gas, we're gonna go ahead and add a total of $100. So we'll add 100 to our gas envelope here. And gas is starting to come down slowly but surely. It's the first time in probably a month or so that I have pumped in the $4 range. I believe my gas station down here Last night I pumped for four dollars and ninety nine cents. Whole last month I pumped at like five, five ten, five twelve, five fifty, five eighty. I mean, it just didn't go below four dollars until recently. So I'm super thrilled about being below, even if it's just one cent. So I'm hoping these gas companies get it together, and hopefully keep bringing that down because it's just way too high still to be paying that much we should have a total of 240 for the gas let's just double check 120 40 60 80 90 200 and 10 20 30 40. so 240 is what we currently have for gas so we'll unstuff that as well shortly groceries so groceries we have um nothing to stuff because we should have a total of 100 let me just make sure yeah so we have 100 dollars in groceries and i did the math earlier today because i wanted to just have everything ready so we can do our on stuffing since i have to leave after this but i know for a fact i went over groceries so i will be taking that into account for my next month house bills we pay that through our direct deposit so we are good this month spending i still have to add 50 dollars okay so we should have a total of 100 dollars in spending so 50 and 50 that is 100 dollars. so let's go ahead and put that in here okay now going out this is the one that I was really, really bad with this month and I am absolutely okay with it because I did a lot of really cool, fun things this well, month. I'm not even mad that I went overboard on the going out. I mean, my wallet might be a little mad, but I really did enjoy myself this month and I believe I have about three weeks left of my summer <laughs> or my break, I guess, before I go back to my training and I go back to school. So I'm really trying to soak up the last of the fun that I can have in a while and just really start prepping myself and um, start planning myself, organizing my paperwork and schedule and all that fun stuff. Um, I'm sure a lot of you that are going back to school are probably doing something similar. So with school around the corner, I'm curious to see how other people are prepping for it. Do you all um, go ahead and also plan out like your calendar? Do you have like a to-do list? Are there any tips that you wanna give me to go back to school? I'm gonna be having such a tight schedule that I am a little nervous about falling behind on other areas. So it is what it is. We will hopefully figure it out as we go like we always do. Um, I need to add $100, which is my last $100 bill in here. 
So now I have 100, 250, and 300. So I have $300 in going outs, and I definitely went overboard on this envelope as well. So that is perfectly okay. So now that we have all our envelopes stuffed here, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and go through the unstuffing. Okay, so what we're going to go ahead and do is start our unstuffing. And we're going to start with our rent, and that is $955. So that's just going to go back to the bank, and we will deposit that for our rent this month. So $9.55. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and screen record so that way you all can kind of see this next section here, which is my monthly expense tracker. So I will prop up the screen of my monthly expense tracker so that way you all can kind of see. I divide up each card that I have and then I go through and I total the amounts for each category, but I'm also double checking that um, the amounts with the credit card balances are adding up. So we already went ahead and did all of these. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mark them so that I know. These two credit card, number one and two, are the ones that are due in the next few days. So we're gonna go ahead and take care of those. Our Discover credit card, what we have so far is just a dollar because of my iCloud that I have. Um, so we don't have to worry about that. Let's go ahead and go down here. And these are the full amounts that we are totaling. So for gas, we know we have to pay $142 with 57 cents. So we're doing 100 and we're doing hmm, 40 and two with 50 cents. I don't know that I wanna do a whole $10 for 257. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use my buffer in my bank. I have like $100 buffer. So I will just use $140 and we'll use the buffer money to go ahead and do that. So we're gonna go ahead and check that. And now we see that we're gonna go down to our groceries. And for groceries, we technically have $201 with nine cents, but $50 of that was actually my spending when I bought my air fryer this month. So really we have $151 with nine cents. And I know I don't have enough for groceries. This is the one that I was saying that I went over. I only have $100. So we're going to put these $100, we will figure out where we take those extra $50, but right now I'm only putting $100 in here and we still have $51 with nine cents to take out of one of these fun envelopes. Okay, so for house bills, we're not doing anything. For spending, so for spending, we do have $50 to get out of here because we bought our air fryer. So $50 is gonna go in here. And what's also gonna go in here is the other $50 bill, because remember we are short, $51 short. So we're adding the whole $100 spending and we will use our buffer to get rid of that $1.09. So now we have those two categories done. Now the next category on here is going out. And going out, I believe we only had, I think it was, yeah, it was $300. So guess what? We went over on that as well. So we have for a fact $300 in here, right? $300. And let's just go ahead and put that in here. We have $300. Now, what we need is $51 with 91 cents. So I know you all saw that we had some extra cha-ching in our gas envelope. We are gonna go ahead and take out those $51 from our gas envelope. And I hate doing that because I really should have some money left over in gas. But that's what happens when you go over your budget. You have to pull from the envelopes. And if I have money left over, I would rather use that than pull from my buffer. So let's go ahead and take out $50 from here. And I'm actually thinking that I should go ahead and take out $10 from here. So that way I don't have to take anything from my buffer out because this is 
2.57 we're gonna go ahead and round that up to three dollars this is a dollar so three four that's one two yeah that's six yeah i'm gonna go ahead and just take out another ten dollar bill and that way we're not having to take any money from our buffer here so let me go ahead and just fix these bills perfect so for our gas, we have right now a total of one, two, three, four. So that is $40 that we have um, left over in gas. So I think what I'm gonna do with this money is I'm gonna save it and roll this money over to our savings challenges because I have been having a lot of IOUs. So I think that money is gonna be really helpful for our savings challenge. Okay, so let's just add these amounts really quick and just see how much money I should be depositing in the bank so 351.91 oops 91 okay and then 50 dollars so that's 695 with 57 cents that i should be depositing let's go ahead and count and just make sure i have 100 200 300 400 500 620 40 60 80 uh 9700 and that is very close so we have 695 with 57 dollars and we have 700 here so that is perfect we have just a little bit over thanks to that 10 dollar bill that i was able to um, take out from our leftover money and gas envelope okay friends so i have not done a money fan in a really long time this is all the money that I'm gonna be depositing back into the bank. And I do have a total, I believe, of 1,600 and was it 50, $655, I believe, should be the total amount. 955 is my rent and then the 700 is everything that I have to put back into my credit cards to pay those bad babies up. I hope this video kind of gave you all a little glimpse of how I use the budgeting system and the cash envelope system with credit cards. I will be making a more in-depth video down the line. I wanted to just thank you all so so much for watching and for always supporting. Like I say, it really does mean the world to me. I would not be here without you all and without the support of every single person that watches the video. My anniversary is coming up and I'm excited because I will hopefully be sharing all the one year giveaway ideas that I have in the next couple of videos. So stay tuned y'all. I do drop little hints that will give you an extra entry to the giveaway. I know some of you all have already seen that and have done that. So I am looking through those comments and um, picking out those that do apply. So as always, please don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to comment and don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. I would love, love, love having you as part of my YouTube family here. My YouTube family here keeps growing. I did see that I gained a few new subscribers. So thank you all for those that joined. I hope you all have a beautiful Sunday with your loved ones. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.